Grand Rising, Grand Rising. What's up, Grand Rising, everybody? Are you having a beautiful day yet? Well, you know that's why I'm here to help you set that all up. Hey. Hey, so you guys know this is the part where we do our gratitude. Hey, Munira, I miss you, boo. Where you been? It's not even really where you been. It's where I've been, right? <laughs> I get it. I get it. So, y'all yeah, know how we do. We hop on it. We do our morning gratitude. And I need you to start thinking about some things that you're grateful for. <laughs> so we could go ahead and knock that out and hop into our meditation. Um, I was going to do a different type of meditation today, but what popped up was letting go of anxiety and stress. And so I guess I'm going to follow and do that meditation with y'all. So I don't know, maybe over the weekend you guys might have experienced some stress or something that I don't know about. I don't know, but that's what came up. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so come on. Let's put that energy into our day. Let's show gratitude, gratitude. Having an attitude of gratitude makes it all good. Yeah, come on. I'm so grateful and thankful for this beautiful day. I'm so grateful and thankful to be, to be breathing. I'm so grateful and thankful for the ability to be happy and the choice to be able to be happy. I'm so grateful and thankful for all of the people who are showing up for me to serve and, and help get to the next level in their lives. I'm so grateful and thankful for all of the new wisdom that's popping in, all of the downloads for me to give to you guys. I'm so grateful and thankful that my, uh, my, my bank account is increasing. Yes, yes. You know why? Because when, when you are in alignment with what your path is, it takes money to fund your path, right? And so what happens is you got to be the person to set that intention. Like, you know, if it's money that you, that you're wanting to manifest, you got to decide what do you want that money for. You got to assign the money. You know what I mean? You got to assign it to a place. Hey, Jana, Grand Rising, baby girl. Hey. Hey, all right, come on, y'all. Tell me what you're grateful and thankful for. Let's go. I'm so grateful and thankful for this beautiful day to just breathe at once. Yes. I'm so grateful and thankful for... A day to get up and get started and get motivated, right? Tell me what you're grateful for. I need to know what you're grateful for. Come on. Don't hide it. Divide it. <laughs> Let us know what you're grateful for. Come on. I'm so grateful and thankful that opportunities are coming forth for me. I'm so grateful and thankful that obstacles are moving out of my way in my business. Guys, you got to speak it. This is your gratitude. And if you say it, you say it in advance. You're moving that stuff out your way in advance, all right? I'm so grateful and thankful that the right customers, I'm attracting the right customers. I'm attracting the right connections. I'm so grateful and thankful that the right connections are showing up for me. I'm so grateful and thankful that those connections are leading me to other connections. I'm so grateful and thankful that if I know and that I have the power to make a little bit, I surely have the power to make a lot of it, right? Come on, guys. So that's what you got to do, but you got to be grateful and thankful now. I'm so grateful and thankful for all of the lives that I have touched. I'm so grateful and thankful for all the lives I'm touching now and grateful and thankful for the lives that I will touch in the future. I'm so grateful and thankful for the lives I'm touching on other dimensions. We never know who we're touching, right? All right, so put it in the comments. Just give me one thing you guys are grateful for. And then just let's hop into the anxiety meditation so that we can help you guys get rid of that. Originally, I was going to work on your brain rewiring, <coughs> but this meditation popped up. So I was like, you know what? Maybe that's a sign that that's something that you guys probably should be working on, right? So, I know, you know, as we're going through our business days and we're trying to figure out 
what our next steps are in our businesses and in our days and just in our lives period right because you guys know in order for your financial to improve your personal they work together right so if you're person who is all jacked up chances are you're not really in alignment you know with what you want because you're being pulled into the drama which is just the game okay so you just gotta learn how to recognize the drama let go of the drama because you are not the drama okay see the drama for what it is oh Lord. okay i see it that's drama and then you have to make a decision from your higher self do you want to participate in that if you participate in that of course you're going to have anxiety of course you're going to feel down you know you're going to feel stressed out you're going to feel overwhelmed right if you're giving all of that your attention you're taking on all of that toxicity and it's not helping you right so if you recognize it for what it is that you know maybe that person is just in that space that's trying to trigger you don't take ownership to somebody else's stuff that they need to process okay it has nothing to do with you all right so that's a, a great part of relieving anxiety and stress is just knowing that you take responsibility for your part your part is how you are interacting with the things that are happening meaning that of course a lot of things you're gonna have to respond to them right but you don't have to react to them you could be the witness of what's happening and then just allow the solution to come through you and speak through you because that's where the answers are the answers are within you or it's connected to someone who has the answer for you, but it's that person's being pushed towards you in order to provide you with the, the information that you need, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do our five-minute meditation. And this frequency we are working with today, give me one second. So this is what we do each and every morning, guys. It's 6.30 a.m., uh, well, usually before six, before six forty-five is the latest. Between six thirty and six forty-five, and um, what we do is we come on and we do our gratitude statements and we speak gratitude and be grateful in our lives. Then we do a five-minute meditation because we have to learn how to calm down our monkey brain. It's been running, 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 and we really have to gain control of it so that you could gain control of yourself. You know. Like, it's just so many outside things that bring on the stress. You don't know what your boss is going to say. You don't know if your clients are going to show up. You don't know. And these are all things that you don't know. However, in the same process, you can also self... Um, you can also create a self-fulfilled prophecy of what you do want. So, so rather than being in a place of, I don't know, and then you're stressing... You could come from a place of certainty, right? Come from a place of certainty of I know what I want, I know, I know what I am, I what I know who I am, and also being clear on what you want because you can't get anything without that clarity. So right now, our intention is to relieve stress, and I don't see the frequency number in this one, so it's okay. But this is the deepest healing music to let go of all anxiety and to relax your mind and relax your body. So let's just do this for five minutes, okay? So sit your back up straight wherever you are, whether you're on a bed, whether you're in a chair, Whatever. If you are having an opportunity to sit like me, um, that's also great. This is just comfortable and you guys get to see all of me. So that's the reason why I choose this lotus position. So what I want you to do, guys, is take three deep breaths in and out. Okay, so you're going to breathe in through your nose. You're going to hold it. And what I want you to do is I just want you to relax. I don't want you to think... I want you to empty out your mind. Now, trust that the monkey brain is going to come in and allow you some thoughts to come through, right? So, what I want you to do is don't feel held hostage. Don't start going like, oh, my God, I got to get out of here. Oh, my God, I got to, like, don't do that to yourself, right? Just give yourself at least these three minutes of self-care so that you can have a powerful day and you set the intention for your day to be powerful and that's what it will be, okay? But you... 
even if you experience obstacles and things come up for you to be stressful about, stressed out about, or anxious about, you'll notice that in your body you just won't any you know you won't resonate with it the way that you used to. So you'll see it, but you'll be much more willing to let it go. All right, all right. So let's go ahead, guys. You can place your hands open to be in. The mode of being open to receive. And just pay attention to your breath. And as you breathe in, I want you to just breathe in love. Breathe in good prana. Just just this essence. Just this good old air, this oxygen, this prana that's available to us, right? Just breathe that into your body. And hold it and just allow that prana energy to just come all the way down and permeate every cell of your body. Now as you hold that breath in and you release that breath out, I want you to... Just move your shoulders and release all stress that you might be feeling. Just choose to let it go. You can love yourself, hug yourself, you can stretch. But just let go of the stress. Because this frequency that we're listening to right now is designed to relieve anxiety and stress. So just move. You're very tense in your shoulders because you're stressed out. You're stressed out. So just go ahead and just grab, you know, in between your neck and in between your shoulders over here to the left and to the right. And you're going to notice as you just squeeze on yourself a little bit, right? And just move the energy around in your body. It's trapped energy. So just let that go. Just shake that out and go to the other side and just, you know, it's just like when you get in a massage, it's like you're releasing the muscles and you're trying to relax your muscles. But in this aspect, you're letting go of trapped energy that's causing stress in your body. You don't never do anything to your body. You never tell yourselves to move in your body. You never direct. You never give your body instructions. And you just let it do what the brain makes it think that you want to do. And that's what's creating the stress and anxiety. So let's just breathe a couple more times, guys. Pay attention to your breath and just relieve that stress. Feel on your legs. Feel on your calves and your inner thighs. Feel it out. Let that energy out. You know, move it, move it, move it, move it. So what you're going to do is start from the top of your thigh and just move it on down. Move that energy on down. Relief the stress. You got stress in your legs from walking or standing up on your feet. Oh, hey, let this stuff go. Come on, guys. Just feel your way through it. And let that loosen up that block energy that's keeping your manifestations hostage. All of those beliefs and thoughts, guys. All of this stuff work together, okay? So let it go all the way down. Push it all the way down and through your feet into the ground. So what you're doing is you're transmuting all of that negative toxic energy just from above, from your mind, from your eyes, from your ears, from your throat, the words you've said, the things you felt in your heart, the things you felt in your tummy, the things you've just felt in your stomach and things you've, you know, back pains, all of these things, stress, stress. So just let it go, all right? And just allow it go down into Mother Earth. Just like branches of the tree, let them stem through your feet and go all the way down into the ground, okay? And you're going to do the same thing for the other foot. Hey, hey, Mo, good morning, gorgeous. So you're going to do the same thing to the other leg, okay? So you're going to squeeze that thigh wherever you're at. Squeeze it, squeeze it, get that energy flowing in your body because it's trapped in energy and it's hindering your manifestations because you don't do much of anything to your body guys you just eat sleep you think that's it but you got so much more going on in your body that you need to be checking out okay 
especially the things that you put in your mouth and in your body, you are what you eat. So you got to move that energy, okay? You got to move it. Feel your thighs. You a woman. You should be loving on yourself anyway. Feel you. Love you. Get sensual with you. Feel yourself, okay? Because this is what's required for you to actually step into your feminine power and step into your energy to clear it up, right? So this frequency that we're listening to now, again, is the deepest healing music for letting go of all anxiety to relax your mind and your body, okay? And so, come on, guys. Just breathe in and just be open to receive freedom. Just say, you know, I'm letting go of all that's stressing me out right now. I'm letting go of all anxiety. I'm letting go of all toxic thoughts, toxic emotions. I'm letting go of the stories of my past. I've decided to stand on my story, not in my story. That means that when you stand in your story, now... You're involved in it. You keep reliving it to a certain extent because you're standing in it. Which means you're allowing yourself to remain in the toxicity of the story. But when you stand on your story, to God be the glory, you stand on your story. That means your story is beneath you. Ow! Your story is beneath you. So if your story is beneath you, why are you standing in the story? Jacking, jacking up everything that is ready to unfold for you. It can't because you're sitting in the story. It can't. You have to let it go. Stress and anxiety does not is not helpful for you. It doesn't it doesn't move you forward or anything. It keeps you stagnant, right? So if it keeps you stagnant, why do you want to stay in something that keeps you stagnant? You never stay in anything that keeps you stagnant. When it comes to releasing stress, hey everybody, I see you guys. When it comes to releasing stress and anxiety as this frequency that we're hearing behind us, we got to remember guys, we can't, we have the power to stay focused on what we do desire rather than allowing the stressful situations to take over us. Remember, you are not the stress. The stress is a symptom or a byproduct of your thinking, your behaviors, your eating habits, the, the, the stories that you're allowing other people to fill you up with. That, that is the stress. You our essence in essence there is no stress there's no anxiety in the present moment and so we have to practice more of being in the present moment because when you practice more of being in the present moment what ends up happening is that the situations and stories that are creating the stress and anxiety they begin to leave like just certain things that begin to fall into place. The right people show up. The right motivation shows up. The right, just the right words you needed to hear shows up. Somebody like me come up and say, you know, exactly what you needed. Exactly what you needed. Right? So, we have to let these things go. You know? Feel on your back. Feel on your arm. Feel on yourself. Let that energy out. Right? And just shake it. Shake it out. Shake it out. Because the more that you release the trapped energy, what ends up happening is you make space for the free-flowing energy to come through you, which is what you need, right? But if there's no space because it's all clogged up like your bathtub, and you keep pouring more Drano and more Drano on top of the flood and it's on, on top of the, the tub thing, and it's not breaking up the dirt, it's because the clog is too thick. For the Drano to break through. And this is what's happening when it comes to your breakthroughs. Okay? Your, your clog. Your, 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 um, you know, it's too, it's too clog. Your pipes. Your pipes. Yes. Your pipes are clogged. It's clogged with toxic, toxic thoughts. Toxic feelings. Toxic behaviors. Toxic emotions. Toxic stories. Toxic people. And then you wonder why you holding on to all of this stuff. You have to focus on what it is that you know you should be focusing on. Everything else is just a freaking distraction. 
And if everything else is a distraction, then that means that if you could easily be distracted, then you're not focused. Because guess what? Distractions will come, but when you're focused, do you know those distractions will be right around you, but you will not be affected. You'll be so, your mind will be on point, okay? All right, so I know I kind of talked to this, but at least you guys still got the frequency. So as we were talking, um, I'll give you guys one minute, and then um, we're going to go ahead and do our feel-good journaling, okay? All right. You can always come back to this if you want this frequency video um, for anxiety and stress to relieve all anxiety, stress, mind, and body. And um, inbox me and I will send it I will send it to you. This is a great video to utilize to go to sleep to as well. So just take this moment to just listen to your breath or pay attention to your breath. And relax. Just enjoy that frequency and let's go ahead and get into how I feel good journaling. You should feel a lot lighter. I do. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me know how you feel. I can't even jump right into feeling good. Like my turn up, turn up, she just went off. Cause that meditation, that frequency is awesome. All right. How you feel? How you feel? Let me know how you feel. I feel amazing. I feel relieved. I feel light. I feel all good. I feel in alignment. I feel in alignment. <laughs> Let me know in the comments how you feel. Let me know how you feel. Write it down in your feeling journals. Y'all know how we do. I feel. I feel what? I feel. It says strong is the new pretty. Yeah. You're not a victim of your story. You stand, stand on it. Not in it. Minds up, guys. Have a beautiful day. And I'll see you back at 721 for your declarations and affirmations.